Okay, let's look at the question two. F x y equals to b, uh, and the x y range is x squared plus y squared smaller than one. The first question is find b so that the above defined function is a valid joint DFT. Okay. This question, we can. In this question, we can find out that minus one infinite f x y dx dy equals to one. This is. E. Uh, this this is B plus pi equals to one. B equals to pi one. And second problem: find e x e x in y e x in y e y in x and e x y. So first e x equals to this sorry x f x y dx dy it is equal to pi one Minus one one x plus uh, x dot f minus one right oh sorry I missed the I missed the plot plot the range okay we know that this is the range of x y. Right. One. Okay, so it is equals to this, and we can get that x one dy, right? Dot dx. It is equal to pi two minus one one x the one does this dx things we can know we can see that this is old function right so the result of this the whole one is zero okay then it's easy to get that x in y equals to zero right since ex is zero so ex in y is definitely zero and ex in big y is zero too and ex e y they are symmetrically right symmetrical so e y equals to zero two and e y in x equals to zero e y in big x equals to zero two and e x y this is equals to pi one minus one one minus x y d y uh right dx 
it is equal to pi 1 minus 1 1 x uh, minus y dy right dx this is all all this is all function two so it is equal to oh sorry so it is equal to zero two right in this way we find out all, all of the prob all of the results of the in problem two problem b now let's look at the problem c proof or disproof x and y are uncorrelated since we have the results in problem b e x y equals to e x e y so we can get that x y are on call related what's more we find that fx equals to f x y x y dy this is equal to pi 2 equals to this for x y smaller than one and zero otherwise symmetrically f y y equals to pi two oh, one minus y square for y smaller than one and zero otherwise f x x f y equals to pi two square right we can see that f x f y are not equal to f x y sorry right so we can get that x y are not independent So, in this way, we prove that x, y are un <coughs> uncorrelated and are not independent. So, as a result, that's all. Thank you.